Welcome to another RSR. Tonight, I am discussing the drama behind the scenes at Toronto FC that encompasses Bob Bradley, otherwise affectionately known as Bobby Bacala. I don't know if that's affectionately, but who cares? Federico Bernadeschi, Lorenzo Insigne, Mark Anthony K, Michael Bradley, and everybody in the team, but especially the prime suspects. Oh, Bill Manning, let's not forget. Those are the prime suspects. Now, it started after the Austin game where Federico Bernadeschi basically came out and savaged Bob Bradley's game plan and his lack of tactics and situations of that nature. TFC puts out that post-game sound on their website. People go into a tizzy. People like me said, I told you so. And we lose our minds thinking that's the death warrant of Bob Bradley at Toronto FC. It is not. He still has a job throughout this week. Now, then it comes out and Senia doesn't want to play for him a couple of days ago. They have a meeting, and Senia and Bernadeschi have a meeting with nine or ten other TFC players' conference call talking about Bradley and his tactics. Then there's a full team meeting in the dressing room. It turns to a verbal backlash mutiny, pretty much, where Bernadeschi says, of course you'd like to know you're his son, of course, you're his papa. And then he goes after Mark Anthony K when he pipes up and says, you're like his son too, which, funnily enough, viewer Blitzo on this channel basically called that for months with both Bradleys and Mark Anthony K, the three stooges. K is Bacala Jr. too. He called it. So, you were right. I didn't want to say it. Blitzo did, but he was right. So, how about that, right? Speaking of. But again, so that leads Bob Bradley to sit Federico Bernadeschi tomorrow night against DC at home. So that's where we are right now. By the way, all of this came from a report off The Athletic. Of which I read the cliff notes because I do not have an athletic subscription. But I read the cliff notes, and, well, I saw this coming because, well, you could read the tea leaves anyway. You didn't need it. I feel like the Athletic article was a little bit of a hit piece, as well as the truth, but there were hit piece portions of it. Because Bernadeschi's 100% right here. I don't care if he got admonished for smoking a vape pen. A lot of people do. Hell, I don't hate partaking in vape pens sometimes. With that being said, everybody, everybody vapes. That's normal. Why is that not allowed? Okay? To be honest, doesn't matter to me. Doesn't hurt anybody. It is what it is. Back to the point, though. Bernadeschi admonished for vaping. They don't like it. Is it not allowed? Sure. But you know what? If that's the worst thing he's done and trying to rally the charge of getting this horrible manager out of the club, I don't think he's the bad guy here. I don't believe any bullshit you write to try to slander Federico and Insigne. And yes, they're not really friends besides this, but you know what? If this is what gets them together, I'm fine with it. Listen to me when I say, Bob Bradley needs to leave this club. And honestly, at this point, Michael probably does too. Mark Anthony K. sure as hell does. They are all cronies. Of course, Michael and Bob are tight because father and son. But Mark Anthony K. turns out he's the puppy dog of Bob Bradley. And that's why they traded Ralph Prezo for a player getting worse and worse. And Mark Anthony K. While Alonso Coelho outshone that man. Seriously. And Cervania has. And Osorio still is Osorio. Listen to me when I say 
Bob Bradley has lost the locker room. He's lost the plot. He needs to go. I don't care what PR they're trying to sweep under the rug about Bernadeschi. I don't know why they're trying to slander him because I feel like there's a little bit of slander here. They're trying to make him look bad with a small amount of stuff that people don't agree with. Or I should say a small amount of stuff that's against the rules or something that people completely agree with, a.k.a. get Bradley out this damn club. Everybody agrees with Fetty. And they don't give a shit that he vapes. That's the big sin, it seems like, besides trying to get Bradley out. Because they know, they know how everybody feels, the club, MLSE, they know how everybody feels. They're being defiant in the face. Of everybody saying Bob is shit. Bob Bradley, get out. Bob Bradley, va van culo. Think about that. Hey. They're trying to protect Bob. So they pull out this small sin. Like, it's against the rules. Hey, Fetty. Like, if that's all you have to protect Bob besides trying to sweep Everything that Fetty said under the rug and trying to make him look like the bad guy. You know what? Personally, I think you could shut the hell up. Do your job, fire Bill and Bob. Simple as. But you know what they have to do? I would not be surprised with Fetty sitting down and Senior doesn't play either with this one-week suspension, but I guarantee you something has to give. Something has to give right now, today, well, not today, tomorrow, something has to give. You get 7-1 at home against DC, there's going to be a display that they cannot ignore. You can ignore talk. You can ignore talking heads. You can ignore messages. You can ignore words on a page but you certainly cannot ignore hell you could even ignore your own players but you certainly cannot ignore the fact that your fans are about to quit you if this keeps going getting rid of all their season tickets season pass protesting the club i mean you can't Hide the fact, if there's a 7-1, like what got Armis sacked, there's going to be a situation at BMO Field, a display at BMO Field that will make you realize you cannot run from not doing what you should with Bradley. And that being putting him on his ass, if not both of them. Putting them both on their ass. The right thing for Michael to do once Bob came in was give up the captaincy. He didn't. Because something like this was bound to happen. And it's funnily enough that I've been saying things about Bradley, Bob. Saying he's a horrible manager. His tactics are absolutely expired since September of last year. And now people are just starting to say, you know what? Yeah. Yeah, that's true. That's true. And then Bernadeschi says it, and they're like, well, damn, he's right. Bob Bradley should have never started the season here, let alone made it this deep into 2023, let alone been here after the Montreal double loss. And he's still here, and they're still running PR for him, and they're still trying to clean up for him. Yeah, no. I hope a 7 1 happens on Saturday. I know that may make me a bad fan. That may make me. I don't know what that would make me, but that would make me, you know, selfish, I guess. I don't know what the word is, but would that make me a bad fan? Maybe. But you know what? We need to lose our ass. TFC needs to lose their ass, especially with Bernadeschi and possibly Insigne off the pitch for 90 minutes. You took away the 30% chance we had to win that match.
by sitting Bernadeschi and probably Insigne sitting as well. I'm going to guess. You can't put one of the terrible twos on the pitch if you're not putting the other one on there. And Insigne has just as much in this gambit as Fetty does. And I'm not saying their gambit is wrong. I'm saying they have a gambit. I'm saying that the gambit is they want Bradley out, just like everybody who knows football, who actually cares about the team, which tells you MLSE doesn't give half a shit. That tells you Bill Manning certainly doesn't care. And this has been brewing since 2020. I don't know what to tell you. This has been brewing since they pushed Greg Vanny out the door. And I was wrong about Vanny. And I just wanted Maurizio Sadi. That's all the reason I wanted Vanny out. I think things were getting a bit stale. But let's be honest. They always can. Would Vanny have figured some out? Yes, I think he would have. But they ran him out the door. It's not good for him in LA either. But I really don't think it's his fault. But this team can be saved. If they fire Bob Bradley... If they do that, if they lose their ass on Saturday, they fire Bob Bradley, something has to give. It's either Saturday. Something has to give. Fetty either leaves, Insignia either leaves, they blow this shit all to smithereens, or they get rid of Bradley and try to save the season, which they can. They're not far out. They could save the season. But it's it's going to be a tight squeeze. But you got to honestly fire Bradley. I don't see where... Hey, maybe you get rid of all three. Maybe you just blow it up anyway. I don't know, but I think this team can be saved if we just fire Bob Bradley. I think Bob Bradley is the 100% no question problem. He is the problem, and he should have been gone two weeks ago, and he's still not gone. They're running point for him. I don't know why. He's hit like five death warrants as a manager, and they haven't fired him yet. Armis only had one. You could say, but he lost seven straight games. But he only had one. And they freaking booted him. And that was Ali Curtis's guy. They pushed Vanny out the door for. And Armas only had one death warrant. And they signed that thing expeditiously and got his ass out of there. But you're telling me Bradley's had like five at least this year. If not a couple more last year. But certainly five already this year that are way more egregious. Five. Or you could have fired him. And he's still there? I don't know what the point of that is, but seriously, anybody could be a better manager than Bob Bradley. I don't care if it's the return of the prodigal son, Greg Vanny, Ryan Nelson comes back, Javier Perez, yours truly somehow finds his way there. It's the ghost of Mike Leach. Freaking... Dan Mullen does other football, pulls a Ted Lasso. Freaking Gianni Samini comes up. I don't know. Freaking Anthony Hudson, Greg Burhalter, Jurgen Klinsman. Anybody besides Chris Armas would be better than Bob Bradley. Anybody. Anybody. Are there better people there? Yes. Antonio Conte. Yeah, there are better people there, but I think anybody's better than Bob Bradley except for Chris Armas. Don't go there. I don't think Bill would. But what do you know? Um, yeah, that's my thoughts. That's my thoughts. I think they're trying to victimize Bob and evilize Federico. And I think that's the big thing. They're trying to make Fetty look like the evil guy when in reality, the villain in the eyes of the big boys, is actually the good guy, and the victim is actually the bad guy. I think they got this wrong. It's like Vince McMahon booking Roman Reigns to be in the main event of WrestleMania for five straight years before he turned heel. Nobody wants this. Only you do, you senile prick. And that senile prick being MLSE and Bill Manning. And honestly, Bob Bradley, because he's honestly fighting for himself. But you get my point. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, man. 
Bradley needs to go. I hope they lose their ass on Saturday. That's the only way I think he will go. And even then, they probably lose 7-1 and they'll still act like everything's fine. Plug theirs and be like, la, 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 la. Bradley's at the wheel. Tell me how good does it feel? Stuff like that, you know? Even if we lose 7-1. Be like, we got, we got a goal. We scored a goal. That's a good thing, right? Yeah, you lost 7-1. You know, it's it's whatever, though. But with that being said, if you like this video, like it, share, subscribe. You know what it is. Tell your friends. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell notification. Once subscribed, send super chats on the live streams. Comment on this video. But it's a play. Share with friends and family. All that great stuff. I will see you tomorrow for a live watch along and review of TFC versus DC. I kind of want to lose my my head, but uh, who knows, right? But I'll see you then. I'm Ryan and I'm out. Peace. See you later.